Let us now insert some additional components. In this case, it will be bolts and nuts. We'll go to Insert Component, Browse, and we'll choose a part called Bolt 375 and say Open, and temporarily locate it somewhere here. Now, let's mate it. We'll click on the Mate tool again, and I want to mate this surface with this surface here. Great. Notice how the part automatically reoriented into the mating fashion, but it did not insert the bolt into the hole. Let's move this menu up a little bit. We'll accept the first mating. Now we'll create a second one. We'll click on a cylinder and the cylindrical surface here. Now it's perfectly assembled. Check mark accepts it, and it's done. Let's put another one. Check mark. OK, Insert Component, Browse, Bolt 375, Open, Place it, Mate, Surface to Surface, and accept it with a check mark. Now Cylinder to Cylinder, check mark, and check mark again to finish the command. OK, the bolts are now in place. Let's insert some knots. We'll do it in a very similar fashion. Assemble. Browse. I have a part called knot 375. Open. Place it somewhere around. Now we'll mate it. We can say, for instance, cylinder onto cylinder first. See how it's oriented? We'll accept it with a check mark. And now we'll say mate this surface to this surface. Accepted. Wonderful. Now we'll put the second one in. Let me take the shadow away from here. Much easier to see. <coughs> Accept this one. Now, assemble component, browse, nut 375, open, place it somewhere. And again, we can mate the surfaces first, or mate the cylinders first. There is no difference. Let's go to mating procedure. We'll mate this cylinder to that inside cylindrical surface, except with a check mark. And now we'll say mate this face to this face. At this point, the assembly is completely performed. We can put our shadow back and view this part in different orientations. A simple assembly. You should try that before proceeding to some more complex issues.